Welcome to Blood, Sweat, and Tears, where lists are made and opinions are facts, uh, but only mine. I'm your host, Jojo Mercer, and today we will be ranking the ways that you can prepare eggs based on how likely it would be that I'd prepare them in a survival situation, uh, you know, stranded on a desert island, middle of the woods type beat. So uh, with further ado, let's get started. Uh, that ado being a word from our sponsor today, Water. Uh, segue. You ever got that dry, crusty feeling in your throat before? Yeah, me too. It's actually called being thirsty. I don't know if you knew that. And being thirsty for extended periods of time can have detrimental effects on your health, like uh, dying. So the people over at HydroCorp are nice enough to develop a substance that cures this. It's called uh, water. It actually cures your thirstiness in just a few seconds. And if you use my promo code BINKUS at checkout, you get 30% off. So uh, be sure to go grab some water. Water, drink it up. Yeah, that uh, that water stuff is actually like a, it's pretty cool. I'm actually having some right now. <sighs> yeah, so it's, it's pretty good, and you don't die. Uh, well, anyway, uh, let's get right into the list. Omelets, omelets. Uh, they're not very practical, but they are delicious, depending on you know what kind of supplies you have. But just like a, a regular omelet without any filling, kind of trash. Not really worth going through the effort. I give that about a, a B tier, you know, just because it's delicious. Now we got hard-boiled eggs. Hard-boiled eggs are actually very bad and they're a little hard to cook, and you need like really specific supplies to cook them. You need a pot to boil water in, and then when you get there, you get a hard-boiled egg. So if you don't have any salt, you're kind of screwed. Uh, kind of bad, D tier. Soft-boiled eggs are a tricky case because they're better than hard-boiled eggs, but also if you're not careful, you, they can result in hard-boiled eggs. So just for that like possibility of them becoming hard-boiled eggs, they get like a C tier. Next we got deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are uh, hot take awful and very hard to make in a actual survival situation. Just really terrible option all around. F tier, straight to the shadow zone. Very bad. Powdered eggs is something you would actually maybe have in a survival situation or like if you're going camping or something because it's just, it's like dehydrated eggs. You just toss some freaking boiled water in there, scramble up the bag, you got yourself some eggs that tastes like absolute garbage. I don't know why you would ever like choose to eat these outside of necessity. So just based on survivability alone, like C tier. Now scrambled, ooh, scrambled. Now that's that's just a really great baseline. Like they're easy to make and they taste like pretty good. Just really solid option, A tier. Sunny side up eggs are a little tricky to make, um, but like not super hard. But in a survival situation, the effort just kind of isn't worth it. So, they, I mean, they taste pretty good. So, you know, like B tier. And over easy is just sunny side up, but like a little harder. So it moves them down to C tier. Boiled in a bag. Now, ooh, people sleep on boiled in a bag. If you have Ziploc bags, a pot to boil water, you just like dump the eggs inside of the bag. You leave them for like freaking 10, 20 minutes. You got yourself some easy eggs. Easy game. Like, probably like a good, another solid A tier if you have the supplies. Poached eggs, it's just like, you're making a hard boiled egg, but like the hard way. I don't know why you would ever go for poached eggs. They're not great, they're not worth it. You could get the same effect with a sunny side up and just cut the egg whites off. Like, I don't know why you would choose this over most of the other options here. So this is, this is like E tier. Scrambled egg whites. I don't really know why you would ever make these in an actual survival situation. You're losing out on food. And, and like, really, I don't know why you would make these if you didn't have like a picky five-year-old with you. So, like, D tier, E tier. We'll say E tier. Raw eggs. Now, let me tell you something about raw eggs. People sleep on them so hard. Like, looking at it objectively, it's the easiest thing to make on this entire list because you don't even have to make it. You just crack that fricker open, down it, guzzle it like a glizzy, drink it like you're drinking your morning pot of coffee. Heck, if you're boiling water, why use that on a stupid hard-boiled egg? Make coffee. Have it with your egg. Just drink the egg, drink the coffee, and you're set. You get all the protein, you hardly taste it. Survivability is off the charts already. And I mean... You don't even need a freaking campfire. You don't need a pot. You don't need anything. You just crack it open, 
eat it, you're done. Easily the best option on this list. Easiest S tier of my life. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for today's list. Please argue about it in the comments, I encourage it. If you have any incorrect opinions, please tweet them at me. Just kidding, I don't have a Twitter. I don't hate myself. Those are your tears. Go cry about it.